Hello, brothers, and greetings from Rome. I was asked to give a brief history of our rule of life. See, as you recall, last October 7th, on the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary, the Institute received this important document, Wherever You Go, The Rule of Life of the Maris Brothers. It is a text that allows us to deepen our understanding of our consecration, our brotherhood, and our mission with the hope to inspire an integrated approach to our spiritual journey. It is intended to be read, meditated on, and prayed over, both personally and in community. So where did this document actually come from? Well, a little background. A little over 10 years ago, in a reflection of the 21st general chapter, we spoke of the need for a conversion of heart in view of the ever-changing world in which we live. An in-depth revision of our constitutions and statutes was proposed with a broad consultation of brothers and with the purpose of helping us to revitalize our vocation. Therefore, that chapter recommended that this revision be carried out and that a new text be presented to the 22nd general chapter. This process of consultation and revision began in 2013 as you may recall, we took up the reflection and the conversations prompted by the guide, stories of the journey, told around the fire, and then had the chance to send in suggestions and amendments to the constitutions and statutes. The level of participation was very high, and many reports were received. Along the way, the idea came up of producing a new document belonging to our proper law, a rule of life which would contain inspiring thoughts and language, and which would allow us to deepen our understanding of our consecration as Maris Brothers, our own brotherhood, and the mission that has been entrusted to us. The hope would be that this document would complement our statutes and constitutions, which are much more canonical in character. This proposal was put to the 22nd General Chapter, and it was accepted. The chapter welcomed the initial draft text and asked the General Council to develop further a final version and approve it. The basic framework of the rule of life is quite simple. All of the articles of the Constitution which were deleted, which were dealing with theology, spirituality, and other practical aspects, would be now included in this rule of life it would allow for a much more lived experience of our life as brothers. The rule of life itself would adopt the style of other rules, such as the rule in These and the rule for a new brother. It would be simple in its style and simple in its language. And as a frame of reference, the Vatican document, the identity and mission of the religious brother in the church, would be used in order to continue this conversation and understanding of our vocation as brother. The document itself would have a spiritual tone, elements of prayer, and a certain level of poetic freedom. The rule itself is to be understood in three parts. The first part, our vocation, our being brother, to be understood as brotherhood as mystery. The second part, would be our way of living in community, brotherhood as communion. And the third part deals with our heart, where we are in a permanent attitude of service, looking at brotherhood as mission. So brothers, I end this brief history with some words from our rule. We're asked to live our brotherhood with simplicity. Your primary mission is to be a brother and to promote brotherhood. So I repeat this inv invitation to all of you today. For this document to be more than a rule or a set of obligation, it should be seen as a source of inspiration and contemplation as we reflect on our contemporary Maris life and our vocation as brother. I encourage you brothers to read and reflect on this document. Thank you and God bless.